How you guys doing? John, Indoor Hydroponics. Welcome back and welcome to the monsoon. Over the last couple of weeks, we have just been inundated with rain, non-stop rain, inches and inches and inches of rain, which is somewhat good for the plants. I mean, rain's always good for the plants and the lawn and things of that nature, but man, this was a lot. Uh, this is also giving me prime opportunity to collect and save some rainwater, which comes dechlorinated by nature and properly pH, which gives me great opportunities to brew up some compost teas. And I am taking my tea game to the next level. I've been feeding all of my plants with what I've called a transplant tea, which is kind of a weaker, diluted version of a fish tea using fish hydrolysate. And now we're going to amp it up a lot. Uh, big fan of compost teas for feeding and building biology and this one is going to be for adult plants only Adult plants only we're going to start off with a third of a cup of cane sugar and here is our ingredients guys Earthworm castings is an absolute must that is the source of biology that kick starts all those microbes uh, Within it and our ingredients are going to be kelp meal fish bone meal fish meal and crab meal so very very strong fish tea native americans fertilized all their crops with fish we are no different we're just doing it in more of a high tech type of a way so third of a cup of all ingredients third of a cup of kelp meal third of a cup of crab meal then we're going to nail it with a third of a cup of fish meal which is essentially dehydrated fish guts and leftover parts and then we're going to go with the fish bone meal which is of course dehydrated fish bones um, so all of it great sources of natural nitrogen and uh, phosphorus we're going to go with two one-third cups of earthworm castings really important and then as an optional i bought some product by the name of fish shit uh, which is exactly <laughs> as it sounds uh, this is fish waste from the tilapia ponds um, and basically this is another active type uh, biological thing that I'm going to add in to complement the worm castings to really wake the tea up build the microbes and start populating now I'm only a little bit of this stuff goes a long way I'm only doing 10 milliliters for the entire five gallons which is plenty for a tea because that stuff is it's not concentrated per se but it's just collected waste that's been aerated put in bottles and like i say it's not cheap um but also if i was to use this stuff i would use it just in teas to make it last longer and build up that biology uh, we're continuing to rain but what i'm going to do is let this tea brew for 24 hours and like i say guys this tea can actually be diluted down you know maybe by double or triple if you want it to really spread out i i'm going full strength on it with the tomatoes here's where we're at 24 hours later and it's got a good thick slime coat if you will it does have a fishy smell so just be forewarned this stuff is super active plant available for your plants to take up right now and it my plants are just booming they've never been better this year and i've been just complimenting them with straight fish type product couldn't be more thrilled with it guys hope you give this stuff a try i, I guess i will call it fish shit tea and it is going to be amazing so as always guys hope your summer is going good as always please like subscribe and comment and peace